Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm single and I would love to date a guy that could cook. So today, because I love chocolate, three guys are gonna make me some awesome chocolate desserts and I'm gonna pick one to go on a date with. And here's the catch. I won't be able to see them and I can only pick the date based on the dish. I've been single for a while, so I would literally love to have somebody to make me all my meals and then tuck me into bed at night. Let's see if I find that today. Hi, I'm Adam and today I'm making a triple layer peanut butter brownie. So first we're gonna start with making the brownie layer. We're gonna add butter and chocolate chips to a large mixing bowl. We're gonna microwave that for a minute and a half. So you're gonna wanna let that sit for about three minutes before you whisk it together. Cooking's a great way for me to show off my personality. I'm fun, I'm all over the place, and it's a great time to uh, try out new things. After it's mixed, I like to use granulated sugar and brown sugar. What I look for in a relationship is somebody I can grow with, somebody I can laugh with, and somebody that challenges me to be better. So next, I'm gonna add the eggs. So I like to cook for people. I like to bring my energy to the meal that I'm preparing. So once the eggs are mixed in, I like to sift in flour and cocoa powder. So after I sift in the flour, I'm gonna take the spatula and start bringing in all the ingredients together. Just make sure you scrape down the sides as you go because you don't wanna lose any little bit of it. So I like to add chocolate chips to my brownie. It makes them super fudgy and extra delicious. So after we're done mixing, I'm gonna pour this into a square baking pan, smooth it out, and get it ready to go in the oven for 30 minutes. I hope Kaylin's a chocolate chip brownie person because it's something that I love. Once that's done baking, we'll let that cool down and we're gonna move on to the peanut butter layer. This layer is super easy. We're gonna take a bowl of powdered sugar, add in some creamy peanut butter, and use a spatula to just mix it together. I think food is a way to a person's heart. For me, the way to my heart is my stomach. I absolutely love the fact that we get to cook for somebody today. And next comes the melted butter. And we all know I love butter. It goes on my potatoes. It goes on pretty much everything. So I'm gonna take a hand mixer and mix this all together. This brownie is super indulgent and super big. So next I'm gonna take the peanut butter mixture we just made and take an ice cream scoop. I'm gonna go nine scoops on this and then we're gonna spread it around. For this I'm gonna use an offset spatula to get this nice and flat on top of the brownie layer. You're gonna see I'm taking my time with these layers. I wanna make sure that everything is completely covered and that we have solid layers for each flavor. So after you have that peanut butter layer smooth, we're gonna pour on the Rice Krispie treats. Make sure you have the Rice Krispies evenly spread across the entire thing. And after that, we're gonna put the entire thing in the freezer for 30 minutes. While that's freezing, we're gonna make the next layer, the chocolate ganache. This is super simple. We're gonna take some chocolate chips and we're gonna pour some hot, heavy cream in there, let it sit for a few minutes, and then we're gonna mix it together. And you should get this beautiful, shiny ganache as you see here. So at this point, we're ready to pour on the ganache. Now remember, we're gonna pour this on top of the Rice Krispies, so we wanna make sure we get total coverage on this. There's no reason we can't take the time to get this completely perfect. I'm sure Kaylin will appreciate it. So we're gonna put this in the freezer for 15 minutes to let the ganache set, and then we're ready to eat. These are super rich brownies, so be aware, you're gonna to wanna to cut these a little bit smaller. Unless you're a big chocolate fan, then cut as much as you want. Y'all, look at these layers. I think the other guys are gonna be sweating. I really can't wait for Kaylin to try these. I think she's gonna be really impressed with it. Hi, my name is Sri, and today I'm gonna to be making a triple chocolate trifle. First, we're gonna make chocolate pudding to a medium-sized pot on low heat. You're gonna add whole milk, table cream, sugar, cocoa powder, cornstarch, salt. You're gonna whisk that together and keep whisking for five minutes until it gets thick. I'm pretty confident in my cooking skills. I pretty much grew up in a kitchen. My family owned an Indian restaurant for about 33 years. I would give myself an eight out of 10 with a little bit of room for improvement because there's a lot I wanna learn. Once that's all complete, you're gonna take it off of the heat, whisk in some butter and some vanilla extract, and then from there, you wanna make this as super smooth as possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pudding and run it through a mesh strainer, get rid of all those bubbles, make sure it's really silky. I absolutely think food is the way to someone's heart. When you taste food, you smell food, that also can reciprocate to a form of love. Once it's all in the bowl and all of the bubbles are gone, it's gonna be very smooth. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take some plastic wrap, put it on top, and then push it down all the way to where it's touching so you don't wanna develop a skin on top and then just pop it in the fridge for two hours. Now we're gonna be moving on to the whipped cream. For the whipped cream, what you're gonna to wanna to do is combine heavy cream, powdered sugar, cocoa powder into a mixing bowl. We're gonna mix this together with a hand mixer until we get stiff peaks. Usually it'll take about three to four minutes. Chocolate's like a good partner, rain or shine, night or day, good day, bad day, they're always gonna be there for you. Finally, this kind of brings us to the most important part, which is assembly. Like every good relationship, when you build up to kind of getting to know each other, you build that foundation, build those building blocks. Once you get married, it kind of strengthens that bond between your partner. 
At the very bottom, we're gonna add some chocolate pound cake. We're gonna crush it up into little pieces and make sure the bottom is purely coated. Next, we're gonna do the pudding and the whipped cream layers. I put them in piping bags so it's easier for me to assemble. I really wanted to make this dish because over the Thanksgiving break, a very good friend of mine and his wife made this dish for me and I really loved it. And I knew Kaylin loved chocolate. Seeing how their relationship has flourished, I thought it would work for me as well. Next, we're gonna move on to the toppings. And I personally love Oreos and Twix. So we chopped some up and we're gonna put them right on top. Now you're just going to repeat the process and then you're gonna drizzle on some chocolate ganache. Make sure you cover the very top of it. And then on top of that, you're gonna add some raspberries or whatever you like of your choice and a sprig of mint. I think presentation's absolutely important. Like the saying goes, you eat with your eyes first. So she's gonna absolutely fall in love. Took me a long time to perfect this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to be making caramel brownie cookies. I heard Kaylin likes chocolate, and I love cookies. So in a large bowl, I'm going to whisk together brownie mix, flour, and baking powder. I'll also add vegetable oil and eggs. So next, I'm going to beat it together with the hand mixer. Chocolates actually remind me of my grandmother because growing up as a kid, she always had a jar of Hershey Kisses on the table, and I just remember eating them and eating them and eating them. So I was okay at grandma's house. So typically, my grandmother would whisk by hand, but I'm going to make it easier on myself and use a power mixer. Make sure you scrape the sides of the bowls with the spatula so everything is combined. So once the dough is ready, we'll bring on our baking sheet and bring in our caramels. So I'll take a big scoop of dough, put it in my hand, roll it, roll it, roll it, pat it down like a little patty, put my caramel in the middle, roll it back up, and set it on a pan. So I'm gonna repeat this a couple more times and put them on the tray. Make sure that you roll gently. It gets a little messy, but that's okay. So we're gonna take these and bake them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I like sharing food with other people. It helps me get to know them a little bit better. Once they're done, we bring them out and we sprinkle the sea salt around them. I think Kenny should pick me because this dish is delicious and I think we'll have a great time together. So we'll transfer these onto a wire rack and let them cool. So these are looking pretty tasty. I think Kaylin's really gonna like these. I really do hope that Kaylin does like them. Let's find out. The guys have been working super hard on these dishes. I'm super excited to try them. Let's bring them in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Initial reactions, this person's an overachiever in like the best way. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're all really pretty. I feel like if there's good presentation, that kind of means that they're just put together. I feel like they're all probably pretty cute because it's all like medium styled presentation. If there was bad presentation though, that would mean they were specifically attractive because hot people don't have to try as hard. <laughs> they all look great. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this one. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, there's like brownies in it. It gives me like mud pie, like from when you were little, but elevated. I just can't tell how much time did they really put into this one compared to the others. Wow, ouch. Oh. It's beautiful <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna taste really good. I'm not the biggest fan of raspberries, so that might be an immediate tick, but that's okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, wait, it's chocolate? The spoon? I totally thought it was like a plastic spoon. That adds a point back for the raspberries. Yeah, I really like the texture. The chocolate spoon definitely shows that they're like detailed. I don't know if this makes any sense, but people that are detail oriented, I always feel like they're taller. <laughs> definitely tall. <laughs> <laughs> We're all under six foot, honey. This feels like something though. That would be easy enough for them to cook on like a cute little night when we're watching a movie. I feel like this person has good style to match the presentation. Now I'm going to move on to the second one. I can't tell if that's like coconut on top, but not a big fan of coconut either. <laughs> no, that's not wait, coconut. That's salt. That's, that's salt. salt right? you know? Chocolate. They're very chewy. Okay, wait, I need a bite out of the middle. Mm. That just made it a lot better. So there's caramel in the middle and that just elevated it a lot. Because at first, I would have said it was a little bland. With the caramel, it's like you spent time on these. I feel like they have probably like a really cool lights. I don't know why. I should have Christmas lights across my room. <laughs> I feel like this person might be older. She's in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> She's in for a treat. <laughs> Not old. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to the final dish. So this is like epic. It's very, there's layers. They really put time into this. Is this like peanut butter situation in the middle? Okay, I can dig it. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> it's almost like a, a Reese's Pieces elevated. It's very peanut buttery, but hold on. I'm gonna take another one. Going in for a second. Oh, oh! double by ah! <laughs> It gives me like kind of like, I don't know why, nerdy vibes, like funny. <laughs> Maybe like computer setup, also lights. Creepy. Do you have a computer setup, a nice yeah, one? Yeah, nice. really accurate. <laughs> I really liked all of these. It's very hard to decide, but this one just kind of fell short, I think in the wow factor. I think I'm gonna have to eliminate the cookies. <laughs> Peace out, bruh. 
Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm Justin. I'm Kaylin. She was very accurate. Really? The lights hanging across the room. Thank you so much. I'm they glad were, you enjoyed these. They were these. good. They were good. Bye. Bye. So now there is two left. They both had like that first bite wow factor, so it's very hard for me to make my decision. So I think the one I'm going to have to eliminate is... No, it's me. No. The brownie. Oh! I thought, I thought you had it. I thought I did too, uh, but good luck to you, sir. Yeah, no worries. Congrats. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you, I'm Kaylin. I gotta tell you, the computer monitors, the nerds, everything was right. Oh my gosh, sorry I'm psychic. They were really good. It was very hard to pick, like you did a great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're well, welcome. Good luck to you, have hey, fun. I'm ready to see who I picked. <laughs> Let's get them in here. Hi. How are you? Good, nice to meet you, hug. bring it in. I'm glad oh. you enjoyed it. It was so good. Genuinely, I love the textures, the layers. There was so much to it, even though they're Raspberries. I know. Don't I saw that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm sorry about the raspberries, but okay. I will do better next time. You did say something about movies, and I'm a very big movie buff, so hopefully we can oh, do this again. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for making this dish for me. Absolutely. I loved it. I obviously love love, so if you guys love love, make sure to check out BuzzFeed Studios' rom com, Book of Love. Coming to Amazon Prime on February 4th. Through this whole thing, I think you learned a lot about me. I think it's my turn to learn about you. So, yeah. want to take a trip? Let's do it. Let's do it.